I've got to do next, but I'm not going to uh, capture the weld this time. It just would be just really impossible to do it uh, because of the nature of what I've got to do, and you'll understand. Got my pipe level, okay? It's level. So that means the flange is level with that because everything was done like that in the beginning when I welded it. Now I've got to level the face of my flange this way, okay, and so I go off the face like this, that gives me my level this way, I'm level this way, I'm level, everything is, uh, is true now. So what I've got to do, I've got to make a soapstone mark. Six inches back, that's just what I decided to do. Six inches back roughly from the weld seam. And I did this on the other one. I put a two inch flange on the other one. But this time, I'm going to put a threaded weld lead on it. Uh, it's always so hard to get oriented. Okay, these are threaded insides. This is a saddle. You can somewhat see how the piece is, if I could get it in the, there you go. You can see how that's kind of saddled. See, it's got an arc in it. That's going to sit on that pipe, and then this is going to weld to the pipe, and they'll thread a piece of pipe into that as a connection. And I've got my curve mark center finding tool. It's kind of getting dark in here. That's why I want to finish this and get out of here. Okay. So what I do is I made my six inch mark. Then I take my curve mark center finder. I make sure that my angle is on zero, which is zero degrees, be 90 degrees perpendicular to the pipe. Then I just level this thing in. It's got a level on it. I get the level right. Put me a punch mark. And then I've got this little scribe that I use. That I got at a hardware store. It's actually for molding, but it works real good for pipe. And you'll find that uh, there will be things that you enjoy using over certain tools that actually were even designed to. The curve mark makes a a circle marker. I don't care for it though. I mean, on some things it's good, but I don't I don't like to use them. Okay, we'll just say an inch. That's a two inch uh, diameter. So I'm going to go a radius of one inch. And then I will draw a circle, giving me a two inch rate, uh, diameter across. The radius is half of it. I'll just go ahead and scribe this around, make my soapstone mark, and that's going to give me guidelines centered on this pipe where everything will be perpendicular, true, plumb when I put it together. When they throw it up and bolt it to the well head, this thing will be 90 degrees off the pipe. Everything will be true. Uh, and so I'm going to hook my torch up. I'm going to cut a hole in that. I'm not going to worry about catching the plug. I'm going to drop it out the end when I'm finished. And I, uh, I'm going to lift this thing up off the jack. So I'll probably just leave it tonight and let it cool. And then Monday I'll pick it up and I'll take it over to the other side of the state of Wyoming where I live. Last week, if you remember, well still this week actually, it's the weekend now. I ran out of oxygen, I just got a new bottle. So I don't have to worry about that. My glasses down. Normally you wear carbon goggles or darker glasses to burn with. I'm just going to go ahead and rip this real quick so I can get this finished. And of course we're going to do a lot more with welding procedure and uh, the rods and everything. But I just wanted to get you in on this project and show you some things about pipe welding. while I have the chance and the material to do it. Woo, kind of got my glove there. Got my 
earplugs, and I can tell that's super loud. That's more better. <laughs> hey! Here we go. going to do it. You see that other fitting would not fit properly. That's a perfect fit. It's a good cut. Now some companies want you to put, they want you to seat this thing with a gap. They're not worried about it. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. But a lot of times you'd have to put a full bead penetration. I've been in the refineries where they require that. And believe it or not, sometimes they will come out and shoot one of these with an x-ray and uh, catch the guys sometimes. So that's all we've got time for today. I'm in the dark, but you're not because you're behind the welder's lens. See you next time.